So that's got plenty of water on it. You can understand that. It's red hot here. Possibly what will need to be a little bit wet and greasy in the first couple of races. And they'll have to keep an eye on that. The start and finish straight is in shade. The back straight still in brilliant sunshine. Here we go. First race of the evening in the Edward Yancet Stadium. We're underway. Wozniak gets there. And round the outside comes Hukabeki. Hits that grip. He's going to power by down the back straight. Or does he? Just about gets there in front of Wozniak. Freddie Lindgren is coming on strong around the outside as well. We did think about this. We did discuss the fact that there is that dirt high and wide. It's tight out front. Hookenbeck again, powering down the back straight. Yes, yeah, Kai Hookenbeck putting his faith immediately in the dirt. Wozniak chasing the inside. I tell you what, it's awfully close. There isn't much in it. You've got to do the extra distance every time they get to the end of the straight. Hookenbeck feels like he's just got to go in tight and then drift out just to stop any run of Wozniak. But uh, Beverly Lennon, Lindgren hasn't given up yet. I tell you what, it's really greasy. Here, Here comes, comes Freddie. Freddie's coming on strong. He's absolutely coming. covered in shale. He's got his leg back. He's giving it everything. He's back into second place now. Into the last corner on the final lap. Hukenbeck has gone very wide. He's hit the dirt. He's going to hang on. And that was a gutsy ride. Really gutsy ride from Freddie Lingwood back in second place. That's faster as well, 63 seconds. We saw 64 seconds last night with the 250s. 63 seconds in heat number one. It'll get quicker as well as the track dries out. Kai Hukenbeck gets his meeting off to the perfect start. Three points for him. Hard-working Freddie Lindgren back in second place, two points. Simon Wozniak, one point for him. And Max Frick misses out in heat number one here in Gorzhov. Cracking result for Kai Hukenbeck uses that outside gate it is statistically the best gate gets a gets there just about with them but he gets a good run and then he says okay put my faith in this dirt and uh, just turns the bike a little bit as he actually comes off the ripped up area the dark area onto the slicker but he gets away with it just gets that little bit of extra speed there just for a second pokes the back wheel in that extra bit of dirt and he manages to get across Simon Wozniak. Good ride from him, but Freddie Lindgren was working overtime here. Just, it took him two laps to decide where to ride. Realised that the uh, inside line just wasn't working for him. It's too greasy down there. And he moved to the outside here. Look how wide he is. I mean, you don't see that very often in the opening heat of any speedway meeting, let alone a Grand Prix, but it certainly generated all that speed. There was a lot of water on that track. There was surface water going down the back straight. And... Uh... That just gives you an indication of how hot it is here. And...